If you haven't seen this clip yet, it's all over Twitter. Guy walks into an elevator carrying an e-bike battery. It ignites, explodes, and there's nowhere for him to go. Uh, the clip unfortunately ends with him being dragged out of that elevator, and he did lose his life. Now, this happened back in 2021, but the clip resurfaced recently and went viral again this week. Here's the thing, though. I see things like this every single week because of the space that we work in, and it's still not easy to get used to seeing how violent and unpredictable a battery fire can be. What you're seeing is called thermal runaway. In faulty and defective battery cells, they can sometimes overheat, and if there's no proper way to dissipate that heat, they can ignite and explode. And lithium ion is very noxious once it turns into a gas. So it's not only a fire risk, but it's also a noxious fumes risk too. And if those battery cells are linked closely to each other in a series, well, they can propagate or move to each other, and the event can happen all over again with a different cell. That's why battery fires take forever to put out and a lot more water. They just keep going. That's why the I-15 got shut down this past week. The I-15 is one of the major highways connecting Las Vegas to Southern California, and it was shut down for hours on end because of a battery fire. A battery ignited inside of a cargo container, and they just had to wait for it to go out because of the amount of noxious fumes spreading from it. It wasn't safe for anybody to travel by. Now, this, of course, is going to affect tourism. We're talking about Vegas, but you have to remember the I-15 is a critical commerce route for trucks, too. If they can't use the I-15, it slows down commerce for this entire country. New York City also had those battery fires recently that claimed four lives. More e-bike fires. A fire at a battery plant in South Korea claimed 22 lives. But you know the one that got me? Was this one out of Cambridge. A guy buys a replacement battery for his e-bike, which he had stolen, and he goes and plugs it in underneath the stairs one night. Those batteries aren't really regulated by anyone, and they can just say whatever they want online and deem them safe themselves. So that battery caught fire and caught the stairs on fire. He jumped out the window, came inside the front door to try to fight the fire. Without going too much into detail here, he passed out and went into a coma for about a month. His family didn't make it, though, and he lost his girlfriend and two kids. Now, I'm a dad. My two-year-old sleeps above my garage. I don't own an EV. And I won't until there's more regulation in this space, or at least when an automaker comes forward and says that they're putting battery safety at the forefront of their technology. I don't care how cool the cars look. Make sure they're safe. Now, we're a stock channel. We talk about financial news. And if you've seen any of our other content, you're probably already guessing who I'm here to talk about. But I'm not going to put their chart on the screen and I'm not going to talk about their ticker. In fact, I never really want to use these strategies as a way to make a buck. Uh, it's really poor taste, in my opinion. And that's why we don't really talk about these thermal runaway events in detail while we're talking about this company. This has to stop, though. It's been out of hand for some time, and every time that someone wants to bring up doing something here, it turns into a political debate, and nothing gets done. There's a company out there who could have mitigated all of the events that I've discussed in this video so far and all of the ones that I'm still going to. I'm not going to talk about revenues. I'm not going to talk about sales. I'm going to talk about now. These battery events can be mitigated if not stopped all together. There's a company based in Southern California called Cooler Technology. They've worked on some major projects with some massive companies with one goal in mind, making batteries safer. They have a few different types of technology that would have mitigated everything I'm talking about so far. Think about that for a minute. A product exists that would have saved lives and we're not talking about it at large. That's crazy to me. I've been talking about this company for three years now. I've seen literally hundreds of these events and almost every single one of them, I've reached out to Cooler with the exact same question. Could you have done something about this? And every time, not almost every time, every time I get the same answer. Yes, 
Those e-bike batteries should have been charging in cooler safe cases. In the event of thermal runaway, the blaze is contained, the heat is dissipated, and you're given a precious gift of time to make decisions to get your family out of a house. You remember the Chevy Bolt recalls? I remember seeing garages catching on fire and burning to the ground in the middle of the night while people were sleeping, saying, surely, every automaker lining up to Cooler's door, breaking it down, saying, please put your thermal runaway shield and wrap it around every single battery cell in our EV. Didn't happen. One automaker started working with them that we know of, but we don't know who it is, which is a shame because it's probably the automaker that I'm going to buy an EV from because I know that they're putting my safety in mind instead of what looks cool in my driveway. There's a lot more to this cooler story. And full disclosure, they are a retained client, but they didn't ask me to make this video. Truthfully, I'm making this video because Cooler gets tagged in these events weekly, but it's not appropriate for a brand to generate revenues off of tragedy. It just isn't. So often I see the tag, I watch the event, I reach out to the company, I confirm what I already know, and I carry on. So I'm going to say it definitively. These thermal runaway events need to stop, and there's a company out there who can help. Cooler Technology Group has the products and services that would have directly mitigated, if not prevented, every single event that I have mentioned in this video. It will be able to mitigate and prevent almost every single incident that you're going to tag them in over the next couple of weeks. So look, I'm not going to waste your time with a call to action for us or a fancy sign-off flare or anything like that. You want to stop these thermal runaway events that are affecting our economy, hurting people, taking lives? Talk to people about Cooler. Tell them that there's already a product that exists that would stop this. Reach out to the EV manufacturers. Reach out to the manufacturers of all of the battery technology. Let's make this happen. Let's start telling people that there is a tried and true test solution that would have prevented all of this. How cool would it be if we could actually erase these headlines? If we don't see planes having to emergency land because somebody's Samsung caught fire again, how great would it be if Samsung owners knew without a shadow of a doubt that their battery has been tested and is temperature regulated? How great would it be if you could plug your EV in your own garage to keep it safe while it's charging overnight? How great would it be if you could plug your e-bike underneath the stairs and not worry about what to do in the middle of the night when it catches fire? That's the cooler mission. They make batteries cooler, lighter, and safer. And I really, really hope they get that done soon. Thanks for watching.